<clears throat> so 54 and a half I've got is T2. And a pretty nice reversal, really, at, at that 61 that we said may become a middle. Reversed nicely there. And everybody who's just, you know, thought today was up, 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 um, going to have to wait a bit. That's all I can say. Uh, our magnet was 55, right? 55.13. So anything below 55 is good fortune. And this is roughly a... 40% or so pull back very welcome I said earlier today that you know this is just one of those days may just be very quiet and turns out it's not quiet at all it you know trapped a couple of late late Louis uh, t2 is 54 and a half and that is hit and this is shaking out traders from uh, Thursday so one of the reasons we said good possibility today could just be chop, chop, chop was because we're at a significant high and the market may want to discredit that a little bit and come back and pick up a better value area. So anybody who is looking at the RTH charts, once we break the blue line and we come back under, this bar is the, you know, the shakeout bar. And then that 61 middle just folds like a cheap suit. Keep an eye on the 60s. Really nice pullback. And this is what I mean by oscillating around, you know, these big pivots. Well, now that's been rejected. And we'll have to see how low... We can go on this, but obviously until the, these lows here are, are broken, this 50 is the big support for now. We've come back in and tested the 55s. So I, I think we're on fumes now. Anyways, uh, anybody that was able to scalp something out of a day like today, congrats. Started out awful overnight, not doing anything. And this last low right here, this this was a three-point break. So right right back in here, this 95 area. Let's see, what did we have? After the 2802 uh, breaks, then the next target down here becomes the uh, 95 and a half, actually. All right, what's the low? Yeah, there it is. So bottom line, anybody that's got the 55 and a half magnet, take something there. Anything more than this is gravy. What time is it? Almost 11. And if you want to look at a 10-minute chart or a 15, you'll see those are coming back in. A little bit deeper chart now. And I think that we probably have trapped a few of the um, aggressive uh, longs. It's healthy for the market. You can't just have a one-way up without any kind of a pullback. So 52, last known support over here. That will be the next key. <clears throat> and then below that, obviously, that 50 area. And it's the traders who miss the top that now jump in to get hurt. Just keep that in mind.
And for now, we're going to keep this 62 resistance. Hey, any anybody that's looking to buy today, remember, you know, the bigger picture, how long we have come up. Come a long way. <laughs> exactly, Peck. All right, into the fifty three, lock it up. It's a good trade. Anybody's got the got the short side trade today on the break. You know, we'd say if we get back to the 55s, we've done well. And obviously at this point, um, I think traders should be locking something. And you can see how if you're looking at that bigger framework, you know, traders that were, were just looking for um, looking for trouble. I guess that's the only way to put it. Just you know, traders that don't respect where we were in that that big level, they just ask for trouble, a point or two over. Now, I don't believe that the high is still in. I believe we are searching for the next support level to go back and test that. And I'm talking about in, in a matter of days, not necessarily in a matter of minutes or hours. So at this point, the market has spoken And the market is now searching for support again. Anybody that is following the NASDAQ, right, good point. <clears throat> Keep an eye here. That's that 92 level. And actually it should be, what, 793 is, is what I've got. 72, 92, 97. That's why this is here. And a lot of these were eyeballed even before we did the math on them. All right, wrap it up. If, you, if you've got this trade, wrap it up. You can keep a trailer. And keep an eye over here on the daily chart. Because this is just minor support, really, this bar. And I guess those traders that wanted that uh, 68 are going to have to wait a bit. All right, anybody that's got this 53, 54, you got to take something. Don't be afraid of missing. Sixty chart looking good too. Marginal high. Couple, a couple of ticks, and that was all she wrote. 